Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan and as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another exam topic series. This time we are on the SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst exam. And we have been working through, uh, We are. this is actually halfway through the learning path. So there's eight learning paths in total. We are on learning path four now. So we've just finished um, learning path three, where we talked about Microsoft Trend for Cloud. Before that, we did Microsoft uh, Defender 365. Um, and now we're moving into uh, Azure Sentinel territory. But before that, um, we are kind of going to look at um, sort of the KQL and, and deploying Sentinel and things like that. So this is the start of um, those sort of topics. So the, the most of the rest of the content, actually, even though we've got different learning paths, which is four, five, six, seven, and eight, they do all kind of cover different areas of Sentinel. It's quite a big topic in the exam as well. I think if you remember, go back to the sort of intro episode that we did. Um, we showed kind of, uh, you know, it's almost, I'm pretty sure it's close to 50% of the exam. So uh, we've got a really a lot of cool labs coming up, a lot of good topics. Um, so let's get started with this episode. <clears throat> so those are my, you know, my, my socials, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, my blog. Also, I've got my uh, TikTok in the um, description as well. If you're interested in sort of the, the more kind of, sort of personal content, you know, I do kind of days and lives of an IT consultant sort of stuff. Um, so do you know, give me a follow on there. Um, so we are on learning path four, so which is mitigating threats using Microsoft, using Microsoft Sentinel. Um, so if we uh, take a look at what we're going to look at in this learning path, we're going to look at um, constructing KQL statements for Microsoft Sentinel. We'll talk about analyzing query results using KQL. We'll also look at uh, building multi-table statements using KQL. Um, and then uh, working with string data uh, and using KQL statements. So very KQL based um, episode uh, or not episode learning path. And there are two episodes in this learning path. It's a very short one. Um, so we're going to cover two of the topics in each one. So let's talk about what we're going to look at in this uh, episode. First of all, we're going to look at um, constructing KQL statements with Microsoft Sentinel. Um, and then we'll look at analyzing query results using KQL. And we're going to do a demo around creating queries for Microsoft Sentinel using KQL. KQL is custom query language, by the way. <clears throat> so talk about constructing KQL statements for Microsoft Sentinel, specifically uh, statement structure. So KQL query is, is a read-only request um, to process data and return results. And the request is, is stated in plain text using uh, a data flow model designed to make syntax easy to read, write, and automate. It's, essentially to, it's essential that you understand the results flow through that pipe uh, everything on the, on the left of the pipe is processed then passed to the right of the pipe. Um, so as you can see in here, so there's a sort of statement security event um, with the, the pipe signal um, where event ID uh, equal equal 4626 pipe summarize count open, com, open bracket close bracket by account pipe limit 10. So we've got the data in the event security, security event bit that filters and prepares um, that sort of condition, which is all that bit in the middle. Uh, and then that goes to analyze in that pivot. And then we've got the evidence bit, which is the prepare, and, and that's towards the end. <clears throat> Talking about table reference, um, we saw security event security alert. Um, at the most basic level, you just, you just enter the, the table, um, but this is quite inefficient. So we've got search operator then. So, uh, you know, another example is search new or search in, and then you, you kind of bracket the sort of security event uh, and then call for the new search. I've got the where operator. So this is saying, you know, we can see there, we've got security event pipe into where time generated an hour ago. So any security events an hour ago, basic where the time was an hour ago or security event when the time was an hour ago and the event ID was 4624. Um, you know, so a lot of different sort of where operator statements there. Also got similar, which is a let statement, which is a sort of declare and, and reuse variables. You can also use declare and dynamic tables or lists. <clears throat> so you can, you know, let time offset equals one hour, the, let the discard event ID be 4688. Um, again, you can you can you can you can kind of mix and match that with where or operators as well. Um, so again, lots of different really cool things you can do, and and these sort of statements are going to allow you to really dig deep and find really granular information. 
got project operators as well. So, um, you know, again, using that security event, um, pipe into pro project computer or account. And here we've got a bit of, a bit of information. So a project is, um, is where you select the columns to include um, rename or drop and insert new computed columns. The project away, you select that column from the input to exclude from output. Project keep means um, you select the column from the input to keep in the output. Project rename, you select in the column to rename in the resulting output. And finally, project reorder, you select that column and order it in the resulting output. <clears throat> Let's talk about analyzing query results in, uh, using KQL now, or custom query language. Talk about summarizing data using KQL. You can use a summarize operator and this lets you return a count of records per summarization group. It lets you calculate the average XPR, EXPR across a group, or lets you calculate the sum of the XPR um, across a group. Use the summarize operator, uh, it kind of filters all results and prepares that data. Then do render visual visual oh, visualizations, say that really fast render visualizations using kql and you use render operator to create visualizations so an example of that would be um, secure event where time generated is of one hour summarize count by account and render into a bar chart the different visual visualizations you can have are area chart bar chart column chart pie chart scatter chart or time chart so we're gonna have a bit of a play about with KQL now in the in the lab in the demo. Go look at sort of log analytics and do some simple commands. So let's jump over to the portal. Here we are back in the Azure portal this time. We're gonna to go to log analytics workspace because this is where we're gonna run the sort of KQL query. So I'll click on the default one for now. Uh, and from here, if we actually click on logs, to take us to like it normally takes us to you, like it takes you to a video. Um, or like um, we can kind of uh, almost like um, a pick and choose what sort of query you want to run. Um, but I, for the demo anyway, we want to actually type the queries in ourselves. Um, so basically type your query here. So if we just start off with something, uh, something simple, um, like um, in the event. And again, it tells you there. And again, it tells us all our different sort of, um, of you know, the, the objects we can put, so where object count, extend, join, limit, look up, project, we've talked about different project ones, render, etc. Um, so let's look at where, and let's do um, activity, let's see, which one do we want? There's an event one, wasn't there? Event ID, close, Do something like uh, uh, login ID. Okay, let's run that query. Probably won't bring up anything because it's so random, but my point is you can basically um, run different queries. Um, So again, let's do let's do search. New. Um, so we do different searches. Um, uh, let's just type in security event. Probably bring up, bring up anything. So nothing from the last twenty four hours. Let's try and do it from last seven days. Oh, nothing. No security list from last seven days. Oh, that's embarrassing. Let's try and go back. Again, no results. But essentially, again, my. My portal doesn't have any security alerts, so I don't use it much, I suppose. But you could look at security events, it'd show you a security events. Um, can also, let's try and type in somewhere else. So, 
Let's um, type in search uh, in from bracket security of type security event. Comma uh, up star up, up star close that new. Let's try um, let's, again. I don't know if this is going to come up with anything because I've just not got any security events in my thing. Uh, but yeah, again, it'll it'll because I've got no security events in yours. You might have a security events or something like this. Would would looking for new um, security events with app star or the word app in it uh, and new. Um, so again, you can look at um, let's try doing some pipes here. I suppose security events is a really bad example for me because uh, uh, secure security. I'd be, I'd be if I could type, I'd be dangerous. Um, pipe where. Uh, time generated um, is greater than uh, um, I go I'll put one H in there I'll go enter again Again, I could specify a, oh no, I want to pipe that. Where, I actually go, I could actually type in a specific vent ID uh, is equal, equal to, again, to random four, six, two, four. That, that, will, that will exist. And again, I can pipe that as well to look for where the account type is um, account type is call on that squiggly line there to a user oh, yeah, for me. And then we could uh, we could run that for example. It's not going to find anything because I have no security alerts. But you get what I mean. You, you can you, and, and and what it does is it also completes a lot of the a lot of the KQL for you. So you can you can search with different um, operators and that you want to want to search by. Um, and again, really really helpful tool to help you sort of generate um, you know um, queries from your log analytics and analyze the information that you've, you've gathered on all those logs that are gathered into your log analytics all that data and, and make use of it so KQ, I, I strongly recommend using it. i've not i've not really used it much in my day-to-day -day job um but i strongly recommend having a pay to play with KQ. it's going to be a very very important aspect of this exam i feel um so definitely definitely try there's um, some really good labs on the sc200 github which i've got in the link in the description so strongly recommend trying those um, so this is part one of the um, learning path four. Where we're looking at sort of KQL. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Drop me a comment. Drop me a like. Do not forget to subscribe. Um, so thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.